Recently, IX Systems released a TrueNest GoldEye with a new NVMe over Fabric protocol for sharing ZVols over a network. Many people requested a video on how to use these shares on Proxmox for simulated local storage. In this video, I will show you how to create a ZVOL on TrueNest and share it, then use a script I created to automatically mount it on Proxmox. A note of caution here, NVMe over Fabric mounts are very brittle. If Proxmox were to lose connection with your TrueNest server for any reason, any VMs or LXCs with their hard drives residing on the TrueNest share would break. Use this with caution. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do in TrueNest is create a ZVOL for share. Let's go over to datasets. And in my apps pool, which is using an SSD, I'm going to click it and then click add ZVOL. I'm going to give this a name. And I'm just going to call it Proxmox. I'm just going to give it 10 gigabytes. You guys are probably going to want to give it much more if you're storing virtual hard drives or LXCs on it. For sync, I want to change this to always. And for compression, I want to turn this off for the fastest speeds. Click Save. Now I can see my Proxmox ZVOL listed in my data sets. Now let's turn this into a share. Go over to Shares. And for NVMe over Fabrics, click Add. The subsystem name, I'm just going to call this Proxmox. For namespace, I want to click Add and find the ZVOL I just created. Click Save. Now click Next. For ports, I do want to add a port. I'm going to click the first line, which is TCP, and ends in 4420. I'm going to allow any host to connect over this because that's going to be safe on my network. Click Save. And I do want to enable the service to start automatically, so I'm going to click Start. In the very bottom right, I should now see my systems running and my new Proxmox share listed. Now let's jump over to Proxmox. What I'm going to want to do is go into my PVE and then click my shell. From here, I'm going to want to run a one-line command to pull the script down from GitHub. I'm going to include this command in the video description. Paste it into your shell and hit Enter. It's now going to ask you the IP of your TrueNest server, in my case, minus 10.99.0.200. Hit Enter. It's going to install the NVMe CLI tool. And in the very bottom now, it asks me to select my target. So this shows me a list of available NVMe over Fabric targets. There's only one listed here, so I'm just going to hit 1. Now it's asking me to create a ZFS pool name. It has found the NVMe share, and it needs to mount it as a ZFS pool onto Proxmox. So I'm going to give this a name of NVMe pool. It has now created and mounted my NVMe pool as a ZFS pool onto Proxmox. Let's check this by running a ZFS list. We can see when I type ZFS list, we have the NVMe pool I just created, which is showing 9.2 gigs, and it's mounted at slash NVMe pool. It means the pool has successfully been mounted to my Proxmox. Let's jump back to Proxmox, and we are going to add the new ZFS pool over here underneath local and local dash LVM. Click data center in the top left. Click on storage, and then click add and ZFS. The ZFS pool is recognized as NVMe pool. I'm just going to name it the same thing and click Add. Now on the very bottom left, I see my new NVMe pool, which can be used for a target for LXCs or virtual machines. We can now confirm that I can create LXC containers that will live on the NVMe pool. When creating a new LXC container, when I get to the disk section, the storage is default to local LVM, but when I click this dropdown, I now have the option of selecting my NVMe pool to store the digital hard drive that this LXC will have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was instructive to understand how this works, and I hope the script is helpful for you guys to automatically mount the NVMe shares from TrueNAS into Proxmox so you can use them for local storage. Remember the caution from the beginning that if you do this, Proxmox has to maintain connection with TrueNAS at all times, otherwise whatever's running on the NVMe pool will break. If you have any comments, please leave them below about how this works. If you want to have a deeper conversation with me about this, please jump on our Discord server. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay curious.